Real quick, you got to get a reaction. Breaking news here. Uh, Speaker Ryan tells Republicans he won't defend Donald Trump and will focus the next 29 days on keeping the House majority. April, your reaction? I'm not surprised. What happened was the lowest of lows last night. I mean, you can, this is something, again, that we dealt with 20 years ago. Hillary Clinton is on the stage. Hillary Clinton is running for president, not her husband. Um, this makes sense. This is politically uh, incorrect what Donald Trump did. This is bringing a whole nother level, level yeah. of gutter yeah. into this, this entire uh, presidential election that is supposed to be raised above anything else, above the fray. And now it's down in the gutter because of Donald Trump. Nick, let me get you in on this. Again, we don't know exactly what he means by he won't defend. Speaker Ryan has said, Nick, in the past, I'm not going to defend or talk about every little comment Donald Trump makes. That was several months ago. We're 29 days out, and he's telling Republicans he won't defend Donald Trump. His focus for the next 29 days, keeping the House majority. Nick, your reaction? Well, I think there are only a few rafts left on this Titanic, and he wants the House Republicans to be on those rafts. I think what we're seeing is the party is disintegrating around Donald Trump. His campaign is falling apart. We're seeing the reaction from senior leaders and donors that they simply don't believe he can win. And worse than that, that his failure, his loss, could imperil the House majority. Can you imagine that? that this House incredible. majority was very safe until about a year ago, mm -hmm. and now Paul Ryan is concerned that perhaps it might not be. That is titanic. It is. And, and Rick, now we wake up to, you know, Governor Pence, he is going to campaign today. We don't know when he will campaign with Donald Trump, but the initial reaction from Pence um, last night, great job. You won the debate. He took to Twitter. Now you have someone who's close to Pence um, coming out, the House Speaker, saying, I'm not going to defend this guy. What is happening in this party this morning? Donald Trump was supposed to bring them back into the fold this morning with this debate performance. That is not what's happening at 1126 Eastern Time, if this statement is right. Well, I think Nick's image is apt. I mean, there are very few rafts left on the Republican Party. And what you're watching, Tamron, in real time, and it's historic, the GOP is splitting in half. You have on the one mm -hmm. side all the Republicans who are now shifting away, taking away their endorsements of Donald Trump or being very vocal about him getting out of the race altogether. And the other part, side, you have the Breitbart wing. But make no mistake, the Trump campaign now believes it cannot win, and it's looking at a post-election strategy. And I think that strategy is a business strategy. It's a would be a very lucrative strategy to set up an organization that would be just purely anti-Clinton for the next like four the, years. Like this YouTube I mean, Scarborough has talked about this potential of him having a YouTube channel, maybe teaming up with Breitbart to get subscriptions, people pay, and you have that going on. But, but Nick, going back to this with Speaker Ryan, does this mean now that he says, I'm not going to vote for Donald Trump? That's where we are again with this party or country. Um, if you don't subscribe to what this person says and believes, do you take a larger step against them? Do, where are we with, with the Republicans <laughs> saying more? Or do they need to? Listen, I'm not sure that there are many tools um, in the toolbox for hurting Trump from within the party, except simply not supporting him. Mm -hmm. But what you may see as the Senate and House uh, committees and their candidates peel away from Donald Trump is essentially that his field organization is, is kind of on their own. Traditionally, you have uh, the party field organization kind of works at every level right. together. What you can see now is the Senate and House campaigns essentially um, kind of going their own way in this yeah. whole election and leaving Trump by himself so with the, the RNC. Report, so the report earlier in the weekend that they would divert money from his campaign, um, obviously Kellyanne and others denied that. That appears to maybe there may be more truth to this, possibly? Well, it's possible that the RNC, I guess, could choose to take some of its own money and ship it over to the congressional committees. Mm -hmm. uh, Trump controls the victory committees, the joint fundraising committees, with the RNC, so they can't take that money. But, but you know, and, and, and donors could choose not to give much more money. The truth is the campaign is over. The fundraising is yeah. basically over. Yeah, yeah. That is the truth of the matter. Um, thank you so much for joining us, Rick. I did want to ask you about Ted Cruz. Talk about timing. He decides to go in and everybody <laughs> else is going right. out. You can't make it up for him. Thank you so much, April. We really appreciate it. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.